All right, another uh, quick day for me. I'm really trying to get in the mindset of just taking like one high quality setup, maybe two if I feel like the one I took wasn't a high quality setup. Um, my high quality setups that I'm looking for are right here. So here's the open. We go down, take out south side li liquidity, a quick reaction off of it, leaving a fair value gap for displacement. Uh, taking what I, uh, I I wanted to get in this pullback right here. However, if you go from these highs down to the low, we didn't quite make it to the 50% level. So I'm like, okay, well, I missed it. it that just wasn't going to happen today, but it did start moving up. Um, however, you'll see if we drag this up to this swing, we do get a pull back into this that fair value gap that I pointed out below the 50% level of the low to the high from that displacement. Once I saw a reaction off of that, I got in. I did get in a little late, so I did give up like 20 points and I'm giving up points by being out of this trade and we longed and it's way up here. However, I was just taking the highest, the highest probability um, so we got the reaction coming out of this. As I saw that, I marketed in around 101 and targeting that swing high back here. So this was the trade. So around 101 and I think, and we got out right at 27. So right at that high. Um, <clears throat> don't know. I'm not really worried about the stop at the moment just because like, I feel like these are very high quality setups, so I'm not going to be, I shouldn't be getting stopped out very often when they form. Uh, so liquidity taken out, displacement, waiting for the market to come back to at least 50% or more, and then getting in. So like I said, I got in pretty late, waited for the reaction, and then got in, which I think, like, yeah, I gave up points, but it just gives me a higher probability that we, what I'm seeing is happening. Um, so that was a trade. It was very quick. And had we got in at the 50% level, could have got an extra 90 or an extra 10 points or so uh, if we waited for this order block down here an extra 30 points that would have been good but i'm happy with what i got here's the the execution over here on uh trade of eight so pretty quick from 101 to 127 525 on the evaluation account uh, so 522 after commissions just the one trade and i'm just gonna stop there i'm happy with that i like to think about uh, in the future when we're scaling up. And when I get to the point of like trading 10 minis at a time, I mean, this is that's a $5,000 trade in a matter of four minutes and 37 seconds. Uh, and I, I just wanna get, I just really wanna get in the habit of reducing the amount of trades. The less trades I take, the less risk I'm putting out there. Um, and then the more free time I get back in my life. So that's my main goal with wanting to be profitable with trading is to get my time back. This life short and if I can just make my money within a few minutes in the morning, that would be wonderful. So the account is now sitting at plus $2,100. Doing pretty good. Uh, day four, I think. So let me know how you guys did. Talk to y'all later.